To get regular updates, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon. Hello friends, this is the Palisha from Examben. In this lesson, we would be seeing about the temple architecture, its structure and design. If you have not watched the previous video, do watch that first and then continue with this lesson. The link is given in the description. Before getting started, do not forget to subscribe to our channel to get the regular updates. So, let's get started. Temple Architecture Temple architecture of high standard developed in almost all regions during the ancient India. The distinct architectural style of the temple construction in different parts was a result of geographical, climate, ethnic, racial, historical and linguistic diversities. Ancient Indian temples are classified into three broad categories. This classification is based on the different architectural styles employed in the construction of the temple. Three major techniques of the temple architecture are the Nagara style or the Northern style, the Dravida or the Southern style and the Varsaras or the Mixed style. But there are also some regional styles such as Badami Chalukya architecture and Gadgad architecture in Karnataka, Kalinga architecture in the Odisha, Maru Gujra temple architecture in Rajasthan. In the initial stages of its evolution, the temples of the North and South India were distinguished on the basis of some specific features like the Shikara and the Gopurams which are the gateways. In the North Indian temples, the Shikara remained the most prominent component while the gateway was generally unassuming. The most prominent feature of the South Indian temples were the enclosures around the temples and the Gopurams. Design of the Temple the very essence of a Hindu temple is believed to have been developed from the ideology that the all things are one and everything is associated. The four essential and significant principles which are also the aim of the human life according to the Indian philosophy are the quest for the artha, wealth and prosperity, kama for pleasure, dharma for moral life and virtues and moksha for self-knowledge and realization. The mathematically structured spaces, intricate artworks, decorated and carved pillars and the statues of the Hindu deities illustrate and value such philosophies. A hollow space without any embellishments situated at the center of the temple, usually below the deity, may also be at the side or above the deity, symbolizes the complex concept of the Purusha or the Purusha meaning the universal principle of consciousness. The cosmic man or the self without any form, however, the omnipresent and associated with all the things. The Hindu temples suggest contemplations, encouragement and further purification of mind. It also prompts the process of self-realization in the devotees, however, the preferred process is left to the convention of the individual devotees. The site of the temple the Hindu temples are suggested to be near the natural water bodies such as the confluence of the rivers, river banks, seashores and lakes. According to the Puranas and the Bharat Samhita, Mandis can also be constructed inside the world of the natural water bodies. However, such suggestions include the building up of a pond with water garden in front of the Mandir or towards the left. In the absence of the both natural and man-made water bodies, the water remains typically present during the consecration of the deity or the mandir. The part 3 of the chapter 93 of the Hindu text Vishnu Dharmotra Purana also recommends building of the temples within caves, chiseled out of stones, atop hills, within hermitages, forest gardens and at the upper end of the street. Layout of the temple The basic elements that comprise a Hindu temple are as follows. Garbhagriha, which literally means the warm house, is a cave-like sanctum which houses the main icon of the temple. In earlier times, it was a small cubicle with one entrance. In the later periods, it grew into a larger chamber. Mandapa is the entrance to the temple. It could be a portico or a colonnaded hall where the worshippers stand. Shikara or the Vimana, it is from the 5th century CE. It is a mountain-like structure on the top of the temple. In the North Indian Nagara style, it is called as the Shikara and is curved in the shape. Whereas in the South Indian Dravidan style, it is like a pyramidical tower which is called the Vimana. Amalaka, stone like this seen at the top of the temple is known as Amalaka. It is mostly in the North Indian temples. Kalasha, it is the topmost part of the temple mainly seen again in the North Indian style. 
antrala it is the vestibule between the garbhagriha and the mandapa jagati this is the common in the north indian temple styles of nagara and is a raised platform where the devotees can sit and pray vahana it is the vehicle of the main deity which along with the standard pillar or the dhwaja are placed axially the different styles of the temple architecture nagara temple architecture the nagara style that is observed in the different parts of the india with varied elaboration in the different localities has two particular features a facet or the vertical offset projection on the plan of the sanctum and the shikara above or the other structures it is generally carried up from the bottom of the temple to the superstructure the tower above the sanctum is shikara which gradually curves inwards and is capped by a spheroid slab with ribs round the edge gives the elevation the kendriya mahadeva temple in the khajuraho in madhya pradesh is a fine example of the nagara style of temple Dravidian temple architecture Dravidian temple architecture evolved in the South India predominantly comprises of the temple built of the sandstone soapstone and granite and is characterized by its pyramidal tower Unlike the Nagara style the Dravida temple is enclosed within a compound wall The vimana is like a stepped pyramid that rises up geometrically rather than curving shikara of the North India The mandapas or the porches are built in such a way that these precede and cover the door that leads to the cell. The gopurams or the gopura or the elaborate gateway towers also known as the gate pyramids encloses the temple. The chaltris or the pillar halls employed for the different purposes form one of the principal and constant features. It also has the temple tanks well adobe of priest etc. The famous Tanjavur temple of the Tamil Nadu is a beautiful example of the Dravidian architecture. Badami Chalukya temple architecture, the foundation of the cave temple architecture on the banks of the Malaprabha river originated in the Karnataka during the 500 to 757 CE. In Aihole, known as the cradle of the Indian architecture, there are over 150 temples scattered across the village. The Lad Khan temple is the oldest. The Durga temple is notable for its semicircular apse, elevated plinth and the gallery that encircles the sanctum sanctorium. The sculpture of the Vishnu sitting atop a large cobra is at the Hachi Mali temple. The Ravalpadi cave temple celebrates the many forms of the Shiva. The other temple include the Konti temple complex and the Meghuti Jain temple. Kalyani Chalukya temple The western Chalukya architecture or the Kalyani Chalukya style of the architecture is a specific style of the decorative architecture that originated from the old Dravidian style and defines the Karnataka Dravidian tradition. Evolved during the 11th century, it prospered for around 150 years till 1200 years common era during the reign of the western Chalukya empire in the Tungabhadra region of the Karnataka and saw the construction of around 50 temples. A distinct feature of this style was articulation. The Kashi Vishveshwara Temple at the Lakundi and the Saraswati Temple in the temple complex of the Trikuteshwara at Gadgal are some examples that illustrate the western Chalukya style. Kalinga architecture. This style have the three specific type of the temple that prospered in the Odisha and the northern Andhra Pradesh. The three styles are Piddha Diola, Rekha Diola and Khakra Diola. With the first two linked with the Shiva, Surya and Vishnu and the later style is predominantly associated with the goddess Durga and the Chamunda. The Piddh Diola and the Rekha Diola comprises of the outer halls for the offering and dancing while the latter two comprise of the sanctum sanctorium. The word Diola means temple. The famous Jagannath temple of the Puri and the Lingraj temple of the Bhubaneswar portray the Rekha Diola style while the Vittal Diola of the Bhubaneswar signifies the Khakra Diola and the Sun Temple at the Konak remains a prominent example of the Piddh Diola. With this we have come to the end of this session. Thank you for watching till the end. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel to get the regular updates. Thank you.